place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it. Somewhere I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all. Florida, here we are, dude. We made it, baby. Oh, Suron made it in the back, wiggling and all the whole way down. But, dude, I love this state so much. I spend a lot of time in Florida just because of uh, my, one of my best friends, Devin. Um, we go down to Key West all the time, and he spends time in Tampa a lot. And, dude, I. I just love Florida. It's just great. I don't know. I don't know how you couldn't like Florida, especially at you know my age of 22 years old. There's just like so much fun stuff to do, and the weather's beautiful all the time. Like I guess here in the summer, it can get pretty hot for some people, but honestly, dude, I hate the cold so much. I'd rather be hot. But the Raptor made it safe and sound. We, gosh, the Florida drivers are hectic they just freaking swerve in and out in and out like everywhere it's freaking crazy dude but uh we made it no 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 wrecks no bump ups we're good i just got off the phone with brad vlogs and he's uh they're they're dialing in the spot for uh our class tomorrow but for right now i'm just gonna kind of start gathering some stuff up grab all my stuff and go get settled into the hotel i gotta get the surround unloaded too but apparently where i'm at there's a bunch of blocks to ride up and down so I'm gonna be able to ride the Suron and to a lot of spots. So this is gonna be sick, dude. I can't wait to whip out the Suron. But when I'm not riding it, I'm gonna, definitely gonna be leaving it in the hotel room. I don't know if that's allowed or not, but I requested, I told him because my, I was like, oh yeah, I got a hurt leg. I need a, I need a bottom floor. And, uh, and so they ended up getting me a bottom floor. It's literally right here at the side door, which is perfect. Let's go ahead and get in the hotel room. Check out the hotel room. I'm absolutely starving. So I'm gonna have to go grab something to eat here soon. But uh, dude, I'm just excited we made it, dude. I'm actually, this is, the vibes are great right now. This looks like us right here. There we go. Oh, sweet. See what we got going on in here. A nice echo. Just look at it. We need some more lights on in this hoe. So much room for activities. Check out the bathroom. Looking pretty clean. Hampton, you're doing a good job so far. I'm pretty impressed. There's a hair in the toilet. We're gonna flush that. Looks pretty clean besides that. Got our towels. I mean, we're dialed in, boys. Yes, sir. Dialed in. This is so exciting. I don't even know what bed to sleep on. We gotta go grab the rest of the stuff. I was like, being down here in the Orlando area, I'm like right, by, right beside Disney and Universal. So the hotels are kind of pricey. I ended up finding this one. It came out to be like, I think it was a hundred dollars a night. No worries, no problem. I'm gonna have to probably put on some shorts, dude. It is like, gotta have the pillow. Dude, if you're not bringing your own pillow on travel, having your own pillow just makes everything so much better. Because I swear, hotel pillows kind of suck most of the time. <laughs> I tried to drop my throttle hand. That did not go as well. <laughs> that did not go as planned. All right, she's in the hotel. She's nice and secure. I'm not stressing about it now. Well, guys, I went and grabbed something to eat, but then while I was there, Brap texted me and he was like, yo, you want to come over? I was like, I guess, why not? Uh, it's still a little bit daylight outside, so we're going to try to... I got the sir on in the back. Maybe we're going to rip it around. I'll see what he's got on the wheelies. I mean, he's bike life, you know? He's supposed to... He's supposed to have that stuff down, so... Pulling up to the crib right now. Oh, shoot. This is it, baby. We're pulling up to the cribbo. Oh boy, see what we got here. 
Dang, that's a tight ass gate, son. Yo, look at the his. Somebody's got a he's got a bet here too? That can't be his. What's up, boys? Yeah, Yo, it. what's up? The truck is fucking sick, bro. Thank you. I love the truck. I Thank you. How does she ride? So good, bro. I believe it. So good. Come on, we, we burn it daylight. Let's go. Oh, yeah, let's do it. We just got the Serrano loaded. We're trying to ride before the sun goes down here. It's uh starting to go down, but this camera picks up pretty good light, so even in low light situation. Looks like he's got quite the place to rip around at. He said he just got these new pit bikes and they're like fast as hell. Look at this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep up on the Suron, dude. Yo! Go, bro. That thing rips! Bro! Rips, bro! bro fucking SYX 190, bro. It's got a clutch and everything, huh? Every, it's one down five up, just like a regular dirt bike, bro. That's gnarly. Fuck, we put, it has a little carburetor from Italy, and bro, I beat the shit out of it. <laughs> yep. Hang on, my friends that can't ride. <laughs> ride. <laughs> <Big bike. laughs> Oh, okay, okay, he's showing off me, bro. He don't do that. Oh. He don't do that. He's showing off. Look at you. I see you. I was scared I was gonna flip it. I I just found out about that bike like two weeks ago, three weeks ago in Philly. Never heard of it, bro. Sure Never guy. heard of it before Never. then. Never. Bro, no way. They're it. like, they're getting big in like bike life and so everything. Big, bro. So big. Crazy. You get. I I saw you wheel him. Yeah, you no, can wheel no, him a little bit. Man. He's got the, Sick, Got the Recaros oh and everything, God. bro. Oh, Beautiful. Fuck. Nigga, what? <laughs> She's sick. Damn. The, the new Raptor's gonna have the V8, right? That is the new Raptor. This, this is the, the no, no, no. That's the Raptor R. This oh, is the V6 okay. yeah, twin turbo. These should still make dumb torque. What you think? You sell drugs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, the audio on the GoPro completely cut out during this whole segment, which really, really sucks. But um, we basically went riding, and it was a lot of fun. Um, it, the sun was going down, so we only got to ride just for, like, an hour. And, like, the GoPro content really wasn't, like, that great anyways. But it's no big deal. I have a whole other video of actually, like, doing some street riding with Brap, which is super, super sick. So what I kind of have here, I want to do a voiceover and just kind of talk to you guys a little bit about the trip. Um, uh, I've, I've officially made it back to NC nice and safe and sound, had a great trip down in Florida with Angel, um, brat vlogs. It was, it was absolutely insane. Uh, so productive, just super, super good trip, quality time and me making connections and stuff like that. And uh, his friends are so great, too. Like, as you can see, one of his boys was on the four-wheeler. His other boy was on one of the other pit bikes. Those pit bikes are sick, bro. They rip. As you can see, I'm, like, trying my wheelies right here. I'm getting better and better at them. Um, these guys, like, this is what they do. They, they do the bike life stuff, so they're absolutely insane at it so good at wheeling and like keeping that thing 12 o'clock i just am still not there yet i rely so much on my throttle i think i need to work on that because like i ended up i end up every time i pull up through a wheelie i end up just in like speed wheeling because um I'm literally using the throttle to keep me going instead of like my weight balance. Like as you can see here, looking at Brap, like I mean, they just like they got it down, dude. Even on these pit bikes, which I think is crazy. So we did a little pull right here, which is kind of funny. You can clearly see th these 190 CCs that he has, and he's been riding absolutely insane. He's actually selling them now on his website, um, on NoPanicsOn.co. He's like us. He, he's selling them, so which I think is so sick. Uh, uh, Randy actually ate it right there in the sand. It's really funny because like down there in Florida, like I kind of forgot about this, but like, you know, they don't have like mud down there. It's like, like riding down in Florida, like you're, you know, it's like a lot of stuff is like sand. So, um, we, we ended up hitting some tr sand trails and stuff and the, the tires I had on the trials tires really weren't it for that. Um, I was like spending a lot to be expected. Um, but the thing is like, I couldn't put like a real moto tire on here because I'm not pushing enough power yet out of my bike to, uh, to actually spin that big moto, uh, spin that big mo moto tire. Like if I threw like a Dunlop 33 on there, it just like wouldn't really work. Um, we, we found some more sand spots. As you can see, I was freaking ripping, dude. I was, I was trying to make the best out of it. But it really was hard just with limited power and the trials tires. They just were not digging, dude. Not doing exactly what I wanted to. Um, so, yeah. Super fun time. Super good trip. Um, I, I honestly can't wait to go back down to Florida and hang out with the boys again and do some riding. I actually got my KO Moto controller in for the Suron, so it's about to be pushing so much more power. As you can see, I couldn't even make it up the, with the hill. I mean, I think... 
I think it had enough power. It's just I was I got stuck and I was spinning, and then whenever you start spinning in sand, dude, it literally just starts digging. So, um, you know, it is what it is. But uh, yeah. Oh, check out my light, dude. Light's so sick. Um, that that thing came in clutch, bro. I can actually like do, capture some decent nighttime content just because I have that light. Like as you can see, like it's pretty freaking bright. Look at Brap just hauling, dude. Hauling, throwing at 12 o'clock. I don't get it. This was funny right here, dude. He literally, he, he pulls up to this thing, tries to hit it, and then he literally uh, about went over the handlebars because he hit the front tire, just dug straight in. I don't think he had enough weight uh, back whenever he went to hit that thing. Try to go for the little high five here. Um, I don't think he saw it. I literally had my hand out there for, uh, for like a minute. I was like, bro, come on. So... But yeah, that was pretty much it. That was about the about the ride. We ended up pulling up to a gas station, had to fill up the sir on with some some E85, and yeah, that was it, boys. I will uh, catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so ending.